Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Safe Mama, letsafemama.com, tamarubin.com. And I'm here today because I wanted to share with you about this thing that's been on my mind for about 15 years or so. Um, I always used to get these lead check swabs from the company that invented them, Hibervet. And then afterwards, when 3M bought them, they would send them to me. They stopped sending them to me after all this nonsense started the legal battle that I'm in. And hopefully that'll change eventually. But I still love the product from since before 3M uh, bought them. And it's really great for testing for paint and other items very specifically outlined on my blog, but not all consumer goods. Anyway, they're good to have on hand in a lot of circumstances. But when they come in this paper container, the container breaks open and you can't really seal it back up. So then if you buy them in bulk, sometimes you can get them in these plastic things. But when you throw this little plastic thing in your purse, it's very brittle, hard plastic, so it always breaks. So I always wanted to find a little metal case, and I finally found like the perfect metal case for putting lead check swabs. And you can see here, I've got six, uh, swabs in the case right here and I was so excited to find these after actually talking to different artists and metal workers about making me a custom one I ended up finding this at a Japanese store I think they were about seven dollars each and then my friend Carissa started doing the most amazing thing she started doing uh, glow forage where she etches things and so I always wanted them to be etched it used to be you know would have been with lead safe America foundation but now we've got lead safe mama which is probably better. And on the back it says leadsafemama.com. So I wanted them to be etched so people knew they had their little Lead Safe Mama kit. And then the other thing is nice about this size box is that it also fits a handful of my Lead Safe Mama cards that invite people to look up their dishes and have some of the top uh, toxic dishes that everyone knows and has in their homes. So um, these little kits hold up to six swabs and you know, five or 10 cards and say, lead safe mama. So I um, asked Carissa to etch uh, 15 of these for me and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them. <laughs> I know I, I was originally and, and still plan to as soon as I can afford to, um, creating these as a gift for mothers of lead poisoned children. So they would have this, they could throw it in their purse. They would always be able to access these swabs and um, you know, in ho hopes that we can somehow in, in future also get free swabs. Uh, sent to parents of lead poisoned children again. I'll keep working on that. So in the meantime, since uh, there's an out-of-pocket cost for me of about, um, I figured it's about $32 with uh, four swabs and the etching and, and the case, um, I was thinking maybe we could use these as a fundraiser towards my current legal battle funds. Um, right now, I, I fairly urgently need to raise about $1,700. And what I was thinking is for each person who donates $100 today or tomorrow, I will send them a Lead Safe Mama uh, lead check swab kit with four lead check swabs and a stack of Lead Safe Mama cards. And for the first 10 of those people, I think, 10 or it might be a few less, I will also throw in a, um, a Lead Safe Mama lip balm made by my friend Jess. Um, so if folks are able to donate $100 in support of my legal battle, uh, the retainer that I'm trying to raise, I will send these out to them. I already have 15 of them made. And, um, and then once my business is doing well and everything's back on track and legal battle over, I'll start providing these for free to mothers of lead poisoned children everywhere. Okay, thanks for being here. I'll put a link with more details.